Making Oblivion appear more modern fantasy. How not to be an Oblivion NPC. And of course, Smalls Noodle. Hello. Are you Gabay? What the <laughs> fell on me? Oh, I have some sour, some sour cropped candies. No, um, we are going to play Oblivion. We're going to hit continue, even though this is a totally new Let's Play. What are you talking about? That's crazy. Smalls Noodle, what's your take on Oblivion? I've never played Oblivion. I've just played, like, regular Skyrim. So I'd be interested to, like, see how it is. Um, yeah, and of course, of course you'll have to see, like, after it's all said and done. Uh, I'm in a dungeon right now. Spooky. Ooh, spooky dungeon. So one of the things that Oblivion does that Skyrim also does is basically... I think, and this is a running theme, I don't know if this is actually a truly running theme across all five Elder Scrolls games, but it seems pretty pretty canon across, like, Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim. There's basically a random race of some kind that is no longer in Tamriel, and we get to run around the different provinces, like, you know, Skyrim, of uh, Cyrodiil, Morrowind, and Blackrock, and whatnot, and find these old underground ruins from previous people. In Skyrim, it's obviously, like, the dwarves, and that's an enemy. Hello. Your mom. Gotcha. Um, and in, in Oblivion, it's these guys called the Aliads, which sounds so close to Alien. What's your take on that? Um, do they have Khajiits? We have Khajiits. Um, in fact... Am I a Khajiit or an Argonian? I think I'm an Argonian. I know I'm an Argonian in the Skyrim game. Holy, holy shit, shit, how many saves! Holy holy all the way! There's no way I have had 900 saves just from this. Oh. Oh, gotta be careful not to delete that save. Oh, oh, oh Drangus. Very important we don't delete Drangus. Oh, okay. oh my god. Um... Okay. Oh my god. Let's see, hold on. Uh, I need to actually see. So, audio could do could do better to be up more. And then, gameplay difficulties right around there. Let's bring it up closer to the middle. Not quite the middle middle, but just like close to the middle, you know? Close to the middle. You know, um, just a little, just a little to the middle. Just a little close to the middle. Just a little close to the middle. Bring it to the middle now, y'all. One hop this, this time. Stone door to Vilverin. Where am I right now? I'm in Vilverin Conocel. Yeah. Oh, I'm a Khajiit. I'm a Khajiit with, like, Simba hair. Mufasa hair. Nice. Two hops this time. Purchase a horse to travel faster. Huh. No, I don't think I will. Two uh, hops this time. Is that person alive? Or are they uh, they look dead to me, but I can't unsheath this because this is fucking Oblivion and not Skyrim, which means I was here. Um, all right. I don't remember the first part that we did, so you're gonna have to refresh my memory. Oh my god, you're gonna have to refresh my memory. Now you're gonna have to look on my YouTube channel. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, go did. watch part one. Yeah, go watch part one, guys, which is under a different name because I'm so cool like that. Dun 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 dun. If you want to live long, oh no! Your song. Oh my God! You're funny. You're so funny. You're funny. You're funny. You're out of this world. Your jokes are out of this world. Okay, so we did want to be in here. Okay, the local map very good to have. Um. Ooh, look at that. So. Right, so... Oh, okay. Pedestal. Oblivion, I think, is a very spooky, fun Halloween game. How so? Uh... What am I opening and closing right now? Is it oh, because hello. of, like, the fantasy element? Because that would make sense. Well, it's just scary. Like, like, the skeletons hiss. Oh, fuck. There's, like, a zombie? There are zombies in this game, and they hit hard. Ah, oh, fuck! No, 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 I'm not here. I'm not here. Ah! They want it. Right in his ass. Right in his fucking ass. So I uh, killed a zombie. Mm hmm. So, you know, it's interesting. What makes Oblivion scarier than Skyrim? What makes it more spooky? So, 
I think what it is is I think there are two different elements of Halloween you could say. I think one is more harvest and one is more gothic, right? Because there's always like there's always like harvest Halloween and gothic Halloween, and like more more fall versus more like vampires. Yeah. And Skyrim feels very fall. Like it's very much like ooh harvest. You know, look at the pump, look at the look at Riften. It's down by the water. You can grow good plants. And Skyrim is like. Oh, or uh, Oblivion is like, oh, we are in, like, big old gothic archway ruins. There's all this focus on, like, the Daedra because Oblivion, hence. And it's, like, demons and zombies. Way more, like, gothic and just horror-based as opposed to, like, ooh, what a beautiful, bountiful harvest and rift in this year. Yeah, like, it's a bit more, it's a bit more, um... Fuck that skill. Fall and Halloween themed, then it's like predecessor. Yeah. It's predecessor, yeah. Predecessor. What is this door? Let's see. Vilvarin Wendezel. What the fuck are these names? What's a Wendezel? Look up Wendezel. Wendezel? Alright. That's a word. It's literally, it's W E N D E S E L. Wen Wendezel. W. E. N D. E S E L. When does L? Got him. Uh, it's a stone. Oh, cool. Yeah. Bone meal, the RPG version of flour. Or gruel. Let's see. Oh my. Oh my. There's a whole other thing over here. This is, this is a little bit spooky. A bit spooky, my darling. Consider me gespookt. Ah, shit! Okay, uh... Yeah. Shit! He didn't die! Okay, got him. Oh. Yo, the skeletons in this game are scary, because they, like, scream and hiss. I think they kind of do something similar in Skyrim, but they also have, like, a guttural growl. And I'm like, that doesn't make sense, because they don't have organs. They're all bones. They have to do something more lightweight, like hissing or something. Damn. I think it'd be interesting if... Hi, friend. Hi. If? If and when. The souls are bonded. The souls? The souls are bonded. You're losing your mind? Okay, uh, gate easy. Auto attempt. It's easy. Why did that take five auto? It's shit. You want a piece? You want a piece of this dick? Ah! I don't Got think. Him. I don't think they want a piece. Why am I still like seen right now? Oh wait, I want the bone meal. Is there another skeleton? Who sees me? Oh nobody. You don't need to worry about that, darling. Is there something over here? Nobody sees you, that's why we're here. I'm so scared. This is so intense. It's like, you're seen, you're spotted. And I'm like, by who? Because, like, these it's weird to say these guys are seeing me because they are locked behind doors. And while, yes, in theory, they can see me through the open door, like, they're, they can't touch me if they're locked behind it. Is there something from way over here? That's trying to chase me? Let's see. Find um, out next on Vampire Survivors. Right. Yes. This is Vampire Survivors. What's, uh, what's up here? All these locks. All these darn locks. I... I was like, bro, I was about to be out of lockpicks. Okay. I think what's always interesting in terms of, like, Skyrim oh, is when Skyrim. you, like, when yeah. you, when you play the game, it, I don't know, like, it almost feels like a, and I don't mean to, like, make, you know, Skyrim seems so basic. Uh, Go on. But, there's this 
There's this feel. Out of lockpicks, Lamau. That Skyrim and Oblivion have towards, like, Dragon Age? Yeah. Where, like, it's so weird how simple Skyrim is sometimes. Where it's like, yeah. Dragon Age, you're like, oh, you're just, you're, you're going on adventures. You're just having a time of your life. You're just having fun. You're just, just doing things. Yeah. And then Skyrim's like, so we're going to go raid, like, a bunch of random... Oh, that's where I was. Okay. Fucking people. Random fucking people. And you're gonna fight dragons and you're gonna shout. You're gonna shout at them dragons. But you know what? It's okay because you can only romance three people. Yeah. And none of the ones do you want. Whereas Dragon Age gives me options. Yeah. Just, you know, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. People are like, yeah, dude, I never got into that. Like, people were like, you can marry, like, Lydia and Skyrim, but I'm like, what? I have no idea. I don't fuck with that. Yeah, I know you don't. You're, you're like, oblivious to anything like that. You're like, oh, I can do what now? I'm oblivious, you might say, you're to the, to Oblivion. You're oblivious yeah. to Oblivion. You're it's a, fucking you, scary. You're like... I hear, like, horror music, and it's still, like... I don't know where the enemy's coming from. Coming from your ass! I'll take that. I'll take that. There's two Skeletors over there. Let's go move. Hey, Got him. You ever think that when people play, like, Oblivion and Skyrim, they ever do, like, thief runs? Um, I'm doing something similar right now. I'm playing a sneak run. Yo, unpopular opinion. Stealth Archer in Oblivion is much funner than Stealth Archer in Skyrim, and I know that this is an unpopular opinion. In fact, it is borderline incendiary. Holy shit. I actually, I saw a dude on Facebook, he was like, I hate Skyrim, Oblivion so much better. And I'm like, oh yeah, like, Stealth Archering is so much better in Oblivion. And he's like, I'm gonna have to disagree with you there, actually. Never mind. I'm like, ah! <laughs> like, uh, um... He's like, that's the one thing Skyrim does better. And I'm like, how? It's so much more It's so much more weighted. There's so much more uh, variety. Like, I always get X 3.0 in Skyrim when I do a sneak shot. But in Oblivion, it can, like, change. Um, and then, like, right now I'm still getting 3. But I think as, as it goes on, I can get, like, higher or something. I don't know, it's crazy. And then, like, um, I don't know. Like, you, like, you, like, move differently. And you hit heavier when you sneak attack with, like, an axe. <clears throat> Crazy shit. No. I would say that neither is great. Oh, look at the enlightened centrist. I'm, well, I'm just <laughs> saying that neither are particularly robust in its, in its, uh... Well, that's not good. A door just locked behind me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Vulcan Stone! Let's see. Even though it's for magic and I'm using, like, physical attacks, but alright. I mean, I do need to heal if I get Well, no, lot. because I like Skyrim, it's just sometimes I don't like... You know there's a bad booty bitch behind that door. Sometimes I don't like Skyrim in terms of it being... I don't know, like... I want to be able to kill a bunch of chickens and not have to save. <laughs> this is what we do in Skyrim, apparently. Um, let's... I just like Dragon Age more because I like a cohesive story. Ah, shit! Ah, shit! Ah, shit, Buckles. He ain't taking it! Ugh. Okay, why do I have another one going off? Did another door open up? It's going to be all ruined, sir. Apparently. Oh shit, I hear. I hear steps. This is such a scary game! Oh this is like way scarier than Skyrim. Oh, I love it. It's perfect. Perfect for this season. Okay, that was fucking scary. Are you blowing your nose?
for trying to save my own ass. Oh, jeez. I wish you oh, could him. ride dragons. In Oblivion? In Oblivion and in Skyrim. You can do that in Skyrim, sort of. I don't know, like, people say you can do it, um... And I think there is a move for it, but... Actually, yeah, I think you can. But uh, the only time I've ever really felt like it's really worth it is in the main quest where it forces you to do it. You have to ride some guy named Mermel... No, not Mermelnir. Um, some sort of crazy dude yeah, with three syllables. Ride. And uh, you have to take him to this one random place that goes to Sovereign Guard. A little off the map. And uh, no, I think I I've done it before. Where like it's like one of the dragon ren sort of shouts. It's like one of the later game shouts, and it's uh you just but it's uh, it's kind of dumb because you can only take them in like circles, and so it's like what's the point? You don't you can't like really just ride them across all of like Tamriel or whatever. Also, I love how in Oblivion people have shadows behind walls. Like how does that make any sense? Right? Like there's a skeleton behind this door, and he's just. Like I can see him, but how does that make sense? <gasps> dun, dun, dun. That must be like some really thin, like some really thin stone that he casts a shadow like behind the darn wall. Let's see. Hello, friend. Stop moving so fast. Take a chill pill, hmm? <clears throat> oh my god, I'm talking like Tom. No. My I I wonder if we'll ever get to see like any um. And we'll get to see any glitches in this. Ooh. Like, see if we can get any glitches and stuff. I think that'd be pretty funny. I mean, it's mainly just quests that glitch. It's so unfun. Like, it'll be like, kill the dude. And then it's like, the dude is dead. But then it doesn't say, like, you still have to... It still says you have to kill the dude sometimes. Sometimes it will say the quest failed. Uh, but then other times it'll be like... Like, the dude is like, or it'll, it, it, this happens a lot, too. It'll be like, go to this area right now. Oh, shit! Ah! Um, and it'll be like, go to this area. And then the area will be, like, just, like, locked or something. And it won't even tell you, like, how to unlock it. It's crazy. It's so odd. I feel like that's such an odd thing. Because why would you not give your, like, characters and such, like, that ability? If, I heard it a scary skeleton, man. Like, why? It's such a weird. Like, why not give your characters that ability? Is there a dude up there? It's such an odd, such an odd thing. You're right. Zoinks. Zoinks. Zoinks! I gotta level up at some point. Oh, God. Oh, hi. Oh, fucked him up. Okay. Do you ever feel. Like, Archer skeletons are so weak, it's really weird. You're going to crap all over your ass. I'm going to hand in a hell basket, and that raises the cage, and that is some kind of Welkin stone, I guess? Well, I mean, you know, more the merrier. Um, oh, it's a Varla stone. So I think the Varla gives you health, and the Welkin gives you more magicka. Something like that. Looking back, that's actually, like, that such a weird streamline that happens in this game because like all of these like alien ruins constantly have these stones that are basically healing potions and magic potions and i'm like wow that's oddly like kindergarten because like oblivion does this weird thing where like you'll go through like chests and shit and you'll like unlock stuff and it really will just be the pleasure of unlocking chests because <clears throat> in the chest will be just like clothes and pumpkins and I'm like, I know Skyrim does not do that. Skyrim full-on gives you, like, potions for sneezing. <clears throat> yeah, they're like, achoo! Achoo! Anyways, so you are going to need to read this long-ass book. Yeah, yeah right. Talks about how to fuck, like, you know, all the fairies in the realm. But, um, if you can't, you know lockpick this thing, and then you can't progress in the game at all. Sorry, bud. An alien statue? My god. Cause like, I play Sky- I remember playing Skyrim once. And like, it was so funny. Because, 
I was like, oh, wow, I've got to this, like, cool place, and I can, I can level up, and, you know, I can get more stuff, and it's, like, actually in front of everyone at this gigantic-ass party. So, good luck with that. Good luck with that. Um, let's see. Goodness me. Um, Goodness me, do you need a trumpet? Luck pick! I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling fresh! I'm feeling fresh, um, Dr. Work. Battle of Sakator, absorb health, absorb health is fun. Ooh, Manual of Spellcraft, an introductory text by no one. Um, next! Mmm, next! Yes! Uh, uh, the exit! We are the most chaotic, I swear to God. We are, the, we're so chaotic, oh my yeah, God. we are, because, like, we're, like, t we're talking about, like, random, like, different things. And then Jalbert, like, Jalbert. The people in Skyrim are probably like, "What the fuck is going on?" You mean Tan? Uh, Cyrodiil. Or Cyrodiil. My people bad. People of Cyrodiil. People of Cyrodilly. <laughs> Man, fuck this ass. <laughs> people of Cyrodilly. <laughs> my favorite pickle is a Cyrodiil pickle. Ha 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 ha. Um, you know that's in a fucking weird like. Those like dumb rap songs where they make oh my the characters. God, yeah, it's like, it's like this is this is a certified, this is a certified um, what is a dryad saddle polycore scalp? Sounds like a fucking sex toy. Let's see, let's go to let's go to bed. Yeah, that's in one of those weird like a uh, she had Gorth raps. Oh yeah, it's like it's what it's, or it's like here in this speed run that I did with um, X person. Here's a score graph that you uh, you happen to miss if you don't if you don't uh, play the game uh, this way. <laughs> Let's see. Can I just like get up here like this? Oh, fuck your lockpicks. Fuck Let's you. Play. Fuck your mother. Because I'm pretty sure that just went up here, right? Yeah. Because that's also yeah. Who needs that? What the heck? Fuck your mother and your sibling too. Sometimes I wonder if they made the physics uh, harder in Skyrim 10th anniversary, because as, as I've been playing it for my, like, long play, it's been, like, a little hard. Whereas, like, let's see, actually, I want to go back. Whereas, like, in Oblivion, I've noticed that I can just jump on a lot of things, get by on that, on them jumps. Interesting. Interesting. Uh... Let's see, I guess we want to go over here? You know, it's a spooky time. I, Tell me something that's spooky. What's your, yo, go on r slash Halloween. That subreddit is weird. Because it's just people's houses and their rooms. Oh no, I have a spooky tale. Okay. Alright. So, here's the deal. Okay. When I was younger... Oh boy. <laughs> what do you mean, oh boy? This never starts well. I'm when, telling us. When, when females talk about when they were younger, it never ends well. Let's see. I'm telling a story. It is groundbreaking. It is riveting. Well, we can't go over there. Uh, what's up, actually? What's what's this way? Nope. This way. Oh, wait, no, never mind. It's okay. Um... Okay. So, when I was younger. And yeah. I was living at a townhouse. Uh, it was it was really it was really late, and I once heard a voice say my cousin's name. Yeah. Even though I was the only one home. Yeah. And it was upstairs. Mm -hmm. Uh, I once. Also, I was reading. Mm -hmm. And. There was no one home again to add. And all of a sudden, I saw, like, it's so weird. Because, like, I saw half of my mom. If that makes sense? Because, like, it's as if I was looking up. Like, you know, like, because I was laying, I was laying on the floor reading. Yeah. And I saw half of her. And I was like, oh my god, my mom's home. Let me go up. Like, let me, let me, like, stand up and, like, give her a hug. And as soon as I did that, as soon as I recognized that was half of my mother, it disappeared. 
That's so spooky. And then there was another time I was in this townhouse, and I was reading on the couch. Mm-hmm. And for some weird reason, I felt this, like, present. I don't know. I felt this presence, like, above me, kind of, and I was too scared to look at it. Because it felt very, uh... It felt very dangerous. <laughs> like, oh, man. Like, it was weird, because I was like, I know there's someone above me watching, but... It wasn't visible. Like, it was just, like, this overarching presence of, like, basically someone leaning over you. Mm-hmm. But when I looked, like, to the side, like, with my eyes, um... Using my peripheral vision, like, it- there was, like, nothing there. Hmm. But... It was so odd, because I was like, I know there's, like, someone... Like, I know there's someone, like, there who, uh... Who, who is watching me, but there wasn't anyone, like, physically there, and so I was like, this house is very haunted. Wow. So I actually have two ghost stories, too, since you told two. E- equal trade. Equal trade, my brother. So for the longest time, I've told this scary story where basically me and a bunch of college friends when I was at college uh, went to Bro, so the... so college kids. Yeah, for real. D- d- don't go to college. Start your own business selling shoes on the side of the road. And your underwear. And invest in a bank account where you divide the dividends between you and your employees. Anyway, um, so what happened was Fort Fort Chalman. Let's see, is it is it hard or is it going to be soft? Let's see. So while I was at college, around like 2017, 2018, we went to the Confederate, we went to a Confederate cemetery after dark. Oh my god, gross. But what was weird, what was weird is that it was, um, yeah, let's see, what's the first enemy here? Is it a Skeletor? Is it a Bandit? Uh, oh, what the? Is it, is it a fuck, is it the fucking deer? Let's see, so, um, we went to this cemetery after dark, but the thing was, was that the, the gate wasn't locked. Like, the side doors were, like, still, like, open and unlocked, and so I was like, what the hell? And we went to it on October 30th, so it was the day before Halloween. We went to it on, on Hollow's Eve Eve. Ooh. Um, and I, uh, my friend at the time gave me her blanket as a way to, like, stay warm, because it was actually, like, kind of chilly on October 31st. What? Or, sorry, October 30th. You know, she's probably trying to hit on you. Yo, um, but basically, what had happened was, uh, I'm I'm walking through like this more open part of the cemetery where there's actually not a lot of stones or even like tree stubs and bushes, none of none of the sort. And the whole thing is that it's just like this this more open part of it where it's just a lot of grass. And I'm walking and I feel something tug on like my blanket, and I'm like, oh, am I walking over like a tombstone? Am I walking over a tree stump? What's going on? Nothing there. So, and I, and I walk a little bit more, and I feel something tugging my blanket, and I look again, and there's nothing there. So, I'm like, holy fuck. Like... Probably thought you were a lady with that blanket. There's straight up, like, a ghost here. There's straight up, like, a, a spooky man here trying to steal my blankie. Well, my friend's blankie, but I was wearing it. Well, he probably and thought you were a lady with that dress. I thought I was a lady with a nice ass. Hell yeah! I poop out of there. So then what happens is, um, but I have another ghost story too. So later on, uh, about a year or so later, I, uh, graduated college. Um, one of the things was that Gross. my, my, uh, aunt and uncle took me up to New York City and I actually went up to Ugh, like Times Square and everything. That's terrible. I know. Hey, Mary the Witch, how's Team Fortress 2? So we go up to Times Square in New York City and everything. And, um, there's this one place that we go to that's supposedly haunted called Francis Tavern. What the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay, um... So there's this place called Francis Tavern. And it's supposed to be this haunted bar. And the entire time... And we actually go there late at night. And there's, like, barely anyone there. And there's these two really nice Danish guys there. And they're, like, super chill. And everyone everyone in New York... Here's the thing. Here's the, here's the dirty little secret. Everyone in New York is super nice at nighttime at bars because they're drunk and they're sad. Because during the day, they're all angry and mean, and they have to get to work, you know what I mean? So, like, that's the whole thing. It's like, they're actually really nice when they're when they're inebriated. But what happens is, I went to the bathroom. Um, and I was like, well, you know, 
let's 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 you know because I had to pee. I was drinking all the time, and so ew. And uh, well, it was you know New York, and so I I go to this bathroom in Francis Tavern, and oh. I see this like this black like oh shut up. I see this like black figure like come up behind me or something or like move behind me, and I don't think anything of it, and I'm like. I so I have this like black figure like walk behind me and stuff, and I think that it's just like a dude, um, just a figure out of the corner of my eye. Well, turns out I um, I turn around after I finish doing my business just to like see. I'm like, who you know, who is this? And there was no one there. And I'm like, oh well, probably the ghost, right? Because here I am in this haunted tavern. So. That, that's that, those are my two recent spooky stories. So I have another one. Tell me another one. Also, the moral of that story is that when you're in New York, apparently you turn into an alcoholic. Yep. <laughs> uh, so don't go to New York, kids, because New York. You will turn into an alcoholic with your family. An um, alcoholic. Because I like to lick. You do. Um, yeah. So I went to. I went to uh, a. Um, I can't even remember, but it was this. I don't remember the plantation's name. But my family and I went, and I was interested in like learning history and stuff. So that's mainly why I went. And at the time, I went to, uh, I went with my friend Maddie, and she, what happened was, is we were, it was so funny because I, we, we saw this movie, and if you ever visit a plantation, and they show you this video, nine times out of ten, that video mentions nothing about slavery. Yeah. Like, True, it tells yeah. you, oh, these, this is the family that lived here, and this is, they sold, they sold cotton and tobacco and, and raspberry jam preserves. And it's like, how nice. So, like, yeah, so, like, the video shows, and then, and if they do mention slavery, it's for, like, two seconds. They're like, oh, and the slaves lived here, but we've made raspberry jam. Like, it's, it's never, never get roped into that. So, I was already feeling kind of weird because I didn't know it at the time, but I'm allergic to pine. And we found out I was allergic to pine through an allergy test. At the time, I didn't know. So, I was in a room watching this movie video thing, and above me is pine beams. So, I was all stuffy. And, oh, I was, yeah. and I was like, I couldn't really breathe, so I was already like, this is not great, because I didn't know why I was feeling Ooh, that it's, way. It's raining. Um. You think I'll catch a Latios or a Latios out here? Yeah, I think you might. I'm gonna have my nice. Sim have her baby. I had her take a, <laughs> I had her take a bath first. It's like, oh, she's gone into labor, and she was like super asleep. And then I was like, oh no, she needs to take a bath before she like goes into labor. Where are the Skeletors? Um, Skeletors! So, I was already feeling type of weird. I, what was funny is, is as soon as I, like, got out of that room... Yeah. Uh, I was fine. Yeah, because of the pine? Yeah, well, I didn't know it was yeah. the pine at the time. I just thought my allergies from outside were messing with me. And they were, oh, yeah. to an extent. But I, like, felt instantly sort of better after I was away from the pine. So we go downstairs, and what is... Damn, ten repair hammers? Shit. And what is presumed to be, um... Is what's presumed to be the slaves' quarters. Um... And they're showing us around, and I'm looking at these... These little artifacts? I would... I'm guessing... I can't remember exactly what they were. But I'm looking at these, and I, you know, because... I'm now in the slave quarters, I assume there's ghosts here. I start, like, you know, kind of a, being like, I'm so sorry you went through this, you didn't deserve it, you know, kind of hoping to put some, like, ghosts at ease, and... Kind of blessing, blessing the land, apparently. Well, sort of, I mean, I was kind of like, you know, they need to hear someone 
who sort of who looks like me, even though I am white, passing, say they're sorry. And say that what they went through should not have like happened. So, um I was doing that and all of a sudden because so no one was around me. All of a sudden I start at first it go it's like hey. It's like a whisper. And then it's like hey. And then it's like hey. And oh, yeah, anyway, go on. So and th this is how you know I know it was a ghost. Because I I got so irritated because I thought it was one of my cousins. Because I was so in like I was so enthralled in like looking at the the artifacts and stuff. So when I when so when they were like, hey, I was like, what? Like I looked to the side and I was like, what? And then I was like, oh, there's no one here. I was, oh wow. I was like, oh, 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 there's no one here, and I just I was, oh my just, God. I was so irritated at having to hear, like, hear this, hey, I was like, what? What do you, like, and I was like, oh, there's no one here. And then I went and, um, just before I told everyone, like, what happened and that I was like, you guys abandoned me and I had a ghost encounter. There was a particular part of the room that I felt unwelcomed in. Mm -hmm. And... I had to go through it in order to look around the rest of things. I ended up finding my one of my my grandparent my grandparent uh, my grandmother's uh, sister's husband looking at something. But in the room I was in, I was alone. But I had to get through this room, and I felt like entirely like unwelcome. And I was like, yeah. oh, do they know I'm mixed? <laughs> is is this the white part of this? The area where they're like, oh, you can't, you shouldn't be in here. Oh my god. Um, and then I told my mom, I was like, you guys left me and I had a ghost encounter. And then she started telling everyone I, like, I was connected to ghosts. I do be connected to them ghosts. Let's see. Um, slips off as you try to fasten around your neck. <laughs> Damn, this is a shitty, ne a shitty necklace. Um, oh, I think... Yeah. Why is it still giving me spooky, spooky noise? It'd be, it'd be, it'd be spooky up in here. We're telling ghost stories, of course it's gonna... It gonna be spooky up in here. It gonna be spooky up in here, spooky up in here, spooky up in here. Well, I guess I'll get to the Imperial City in the next part, because right now I got some shit to take care of. Ooh, there's a... There's a castle in the distance, too. What a fun thing. When in combat, don't always run. You know Look I back. can mood bathe. Accept your fate. Holy gajoli. Well, when you're a werewolf. Well, she's not even a werewolf, but it's so fun. Ooh, what's in this cave? Hello? Gizmo? Oh, that's another gimp. Gizmo? Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Why can't I touch you? Let me touch you. Let me touch. Feel your impish skin, baby. They don't want you to touch them, no. It's weird that imps can fly. They didn't think They didn't think ahead in terms of how much flight would be like a powerful thing in Elder Scrolls, did they? Because it's like, only dragons and vampires can. Werewolves should have been able to fly. I'm just saying. Yeah. Also, why do Sims eat mac and cheese not in a bowl, but on a plate? Um... You know? That's weird, isn't it? It's a bit, it's a bit weird, isn't it, bro? It's a bit weird, bro. Bro. Let's see. Yo, have you uh, heard now that the uh, British are making 9-11 memes about the Queen? Or about, like against Americans for making fun of the queen dying. It's like a whole thing on TikTok right now. Oh, wait, they're making 9-11 memes because we're making fun of... Yeah, it's it's so wild. And it's like, it's just like uniting Americans right now. It's, it's the dumbest thing. You know what I always find interesting? Is, what? What do you find interesting? Is, is when we sit there and like, obviously call out Britain 
and be like, oh, hey, actually, so, like, the queen is ter- is a terrible person, something like that. They always go to sh- school shootings. Like, we could- well, at least our schools! <laughs> yeah, like, we could, like, we could even say, oh, beans on toast is terrible. Something that's, like, not even, like, it's, like, it's not even insulting. Like, it's, like, bottom of the barrel in terms of, like, insult. Like, yeah. oh, the English are disgusting. They eat beans on toast. Automatically, some British person goes, Well, that's why you got school shootings, then. Eh?